Francis Patrick, the principal farmers of Your Faith Farms, 30 Acres and a Mew. And this is the part that some people uh, don't want to put the time in. You got to start your day early. And getting up before the sun uh, is a blessing if you truly understand. You can get up and get your day started while everybody is still sleeping and get a lot of productivity happening. You always come out early and it's still, it's quiet, it's minimum noise. You can get your thoughts together, plan your day, and execute your plan. And so one of the things that you must get comfortable with is the light in the darkness. See, when you're farming, you get a chance to appreciate the beauties of nature and all of its elements. And there's a beauty in the darkness. And when you move to a homestead, you often get a chance to get away from the city lights the noise pollution and get a chance to witness the regalness of the darkness. And so I come out and I just look across the pastures. This morning we got a little fog starting to lift. Uh, the animals are still uh, resting. They haven't started except for mamba, uh, rooster, and then my old trusty Stripes the cat is. Morning, Stripes. Check it on me. She's my security this morning. And so we're going to continue that series on Before You Buy a Farm Things You Need to Know. Last night we had a tough storm here. I mean, it power went out. Of course, the children were scared. I had to act brave. <laughs> we didn't know if it was a tornado. Uh, we always hurricanes uh, coming on the east coast and the south right now. Here's Kiki. And so uh, come out sometime early in the morning. See what's visiting your your homestead before you. Yeah. See who's your night predators that's uh, getting into your feed room or chasing your animals at night or trying to get to your chickens. Get comfortable in your environment because you're gonna have to be able to protect it and also it's necessary for growth. So I always come out so I can overcome my fears. And there's one thing I, I will share with you guys. It's okay to be fearful, right? It's okay. Yeah. When I first came out to the farm, those first couple nights, I was scared. I grew up in the inner city of East St. Louis. I'm living in Atlanta, living outside of Atlanta, and then move my family to a farm. These 30 acres get dark, y'all. <laughs> Full of trees, weeds, tall grass. And I'll tell you an interesting story. Maybe the first or second night, uh, my family was still st staying at our house that we were selling, and. I told the wife, you know, we're gonna come out, me and Queen, I press a canary and, you know, get used to the, the environment. And the power wasn't even on, right? So that that night, it gets dark. I'm I'm practicing what I preach. Let me go walk this property. <laughs> and I guess this owl wanted to let me know. Hey new dude, uh it's my property. And 
I'm the one that works at night. And so I'm walking down the driveway and before I knew it, and so the owl swoops down right on top of me to where her wing grazes my ear enough to startle me and then to catch a glimpse of how massive this owl was as it flew back up into the darkness. And I'll be honest with you all. <laughs> I jumped and gave that little squeal, you know the squeal, the scary squeal. <laughs> and Queen darts away and leaves me. <laughs> Queen like, man, what you running from? Queen didn't see it. And the beauty of the silence of this owl. I didn't I didn't hear the owl approaching. Um I didn't, I didn't hear the owl as it got closer, but she gave me just enough so I would know, like, there's some stuff out here, young fella, you might not be ready for. And uh, <laughs> I appreciate Miss Owl for that one <laughs> because, again, it, 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 it gave me... Um, a humbling experience. And that humbling experience has carried us now uh, to year number six. So as you're buying that farm, go ahead and embrace it. Because there's going to be days when your cattle get out. They're not going to get out between nine and four. They're not going to get out uh, right before dinner. <laughs> Those situations that's going to make or break you are going to happen when you least expect it. They're going to startle you. Your phone's going to ring 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Hey, your cows are going down the road. Somebody's going to be blowing at your gate. Or you're going to look on next door neighbor uh, app and someone's gonna be like, man, who is this guy whose goats are always getting out? You know, <laughs> or your dog's gonna chase a car and get hit by the car, <laughs> break his leg, and go missing for a week because he's trying to uh, self recover. <laughs> All right. You're gonna be uh, embarrassed to find out that your goats got out went to the subdivision and ate all of your neighbor's new shrubbery or <laughs> get this one. You sell some goats because you're tired of goats and you sell them to a friend who gets them fenced in. <laughs> they get out and go to that subdivision to his farm while they're pouring concrete for somebody's new driveway. Who do they call? <laughs> the farmer who sold those goats. So things are going to happen. But nothing is so terrible that it makes you want to leave this reality. Nothing has been so bad that it makes you forget about that first zucchini that you harvest and you have it on a salad that you grew topped with tomatoes that you grew next to a sauteed lamb chop that you raised with a little uh, boiled egg inside of your salad and a a little uh, pomegranate or fig infused lemonade with a hint of mint. See, none of those stories that test your fear, none of those moments that cause you fear 
match up to the fact that the best decision of your life is moving your family to a farm. When we first got our farm and started talking about it, I took my in-laws and my immediate extended family to visit Swanson Family Farms so they can see a reality and not just a conversation. And I didn't say much when we walked Swanson Family Farm and those beautiful 36 acres. And I allowed them to listen to Wayne's story and let them ask Wayne questions because my mind was already made up. I just wanted to see if the support system could believe in what I had already fallen head first, foot first into making our new reality. And as we sat at a restaurant afterwards and I just wanted to hear their opinion, I listened and uh, it, it wasn't a session for me to uh, be convinced of what not to do. It was only a session for me to confirm to them what we were going to do. And as I reflect six years later, <laughs> our farm is the place where everybody needs to go and wants to go because it is a place of refuge. It is a place of peace. It is a place that has been sustained because we stepped out on faith. So you're thinking about a homestead, you're thinking about farming, you're thinking about moving out of the city, you're thinking about raising your own food, you're thinking about going ahead and get that first horse, you're thinking about canning and preserving your food. I'm here to tell you all, you must do it. Step out on faith. Go ahead, get that farm. Raise those animals because it's the best life that you can ever have. So you know what happens when you hear the Great Pyrenees barking, something's going on.